Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliette, and today we're going to be talking about my April wrap-up and my reads for May. I know I haven't been on in a while with my books, but here we are. And yes, I did organize my bookshelf in rainbow order. I absolutely love it. It's amazing. It took forever to do, but it's totally worth it. So for the month of April, I actually read a lot more than I thought I would. Probably because I did have spring break, so I was able to read more than I would during like a normal week. So like the books I read... I read the Look Through the Looking Glass series by Frank Vidor, and that was a really good Alice in Wonderland retelling. I do not have the book with me. I borrowed it from one of my teachers, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was a kind of retelling that was kind of science fiction, but it was still fantasy, and it was really enjoyable because it was it took place in uh, the time of Alice in Wonderland, but also when it was written, and it was like the main character, so it was really cool, and I highly recommend you read it. I also read A Dragonfly in Amber and Voyager by D Diana Gabaldon, and that's part of the Outlander series, and I absolutely am obsessed with that whole world. Like, she's able to write historical fiction beautifully, and she's able to put a little magical spin into it with the stones that, like, Craig and the Dune, and if you know the series, it's absolutely amazing. Like, there are some, like, explicit scenes, so it's not for younger readers. Because it is historical fiction, it does go into a lot of the things that happened, um, like, back in the day, where things were, like, a lot more, like, wild, or there was, like, a lot of crime, there was a lot of, like, very dangerous situations, a lot of, like, graphic, like, scenes with, like, battles and, like, fights and things like that. So, if you're a younger reader, do not read that yet but it is a very good series and it talks about uh historical Scotland historical England historical France and right now it's in like Jamaica during the whole like slave trade time and also um I think they're gonna be in the America soon which is so cool because like I wasn't expecting them to leave Scotland because that's like the home of the main uh guy protagonist so I was not expecting that and it, it like each book just takes a you through a whole story and a whole like plot and it's just amazing it's I'm obsessed with it I've been reading it like so much and each book is like 800 pages so it's it takes a while and you're just so absorbed in that world that you don't even realize like how much you've read and it's a really fast read uh I was also able to read The Wrath and Dawn which has been on my bookshelf for so long and I was like I was, when I got it, I was super excited to read it, but then I was, uh, the excitement kind of faded and I just didn't really want to read it. And then I read it and I could not put it down. I read this in one sitting as well as The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Adi. So these two are like, this is a duology and they're so good. I don't even, I don't, I'm not 100% sure where it takes place. But I love all the subtle like references of where it might be. And like all good fantasy books, it has a map. And also the cover is really cool because it shows our main character Shazi here and I just absolutely loved how Shazi developed as a character and how she was able to change so many people in this book and how her bravery and like out like outgoingness and confidence just led her to help so many people in a whole like city. In a lot of young adult books, the main protagonist is a girl who doesn't know that she has a lot of confidence, she's not, like, not pretty, but this girl, Shazi, she knew she was, she knew she had confidence, she was so self-assured in herself that she, like, it made, like, the reader feel so, like, confident in her that she was able to, uh, accomplish any task that was thrown her way, and that was also proven in The Rose and the Dagger, which was an amazing sequel. Like, a lot of times the first book is so much better than the sequel, but both were equally as good. This one had so many, like, twists and turns in the plot, and it was absolutely amazing. And I love how magic was intertwined into the plot. Like, not so much in the beginning, but more so towards the end, which just made the series, like, so good. Because lately I've been reading so much fantasy. Like, like if you look at my... Uh, the list of books I've read so far this year, most of it is fantasy, which I need to change something around, but uh, I love fantasy so much. I also finished Night Film, which was a book that I put down and completely forgot about during Halloween, so I just finished that. I finally finished Night Film, and this book was so good. I don't know why I put it down, what happened, but I was like, I was like uh, two-thirds of the way through with it, so I just kind of reread the, like, the last 20 pages, got my memory refreshed, and finished it, and it was so good. I love how this mystery has like little pieces of like information of like the clues that they get from like online resources and like 
it just gives a very like illustrated kind of story for the reader to follow which I absolutely loved and yeah uh, this is good for any age really but like yes I highly recommend this book too like especially during like Halloween time because it is pr it's like a, th a like a thrilly kind of uh, mystery solving type book so this is a really good book recommended the next book that I read was it ends with us by Colleen Hoover and I absolutely love Colleen Hoover's uh, novels they're very they're very fast read they're all romance but in this one I was led on a path that I thought she the main character was gonna end up with this one guy but it completely changed around like so much happens this was an emotional roller coaster man like I was like close to tears at certain parts and it was just heart-wrenching to decide like what's good for the her versus what she like wants like what she needs versus what she wants versus like what everyone expects of her so it was just very good to see how Lily our main character goes through all this emotional turmoil with her family and her like relationships in life and how her past comes into her present and I absolutely loved how we found out about her past through diary entries to dear Ellen Ellen DeGeneres I thought that was so funny and I love how modern her writing is like she was talking about like how like some things were like cringy and like super awkward and like how she wrote she writes is just like for young adults and like new adults so her books are very good for that demographic uh no not younger but definitely new adult very good and i finally listened to an audiobook i got to listen to ender's game and i absolutely enjoyed it like I wanted to just listen it like instead of listening to music in the hallways I would be listening to a book and instead of like listening to, to music in the morning when I was getting ready I would listen to my book and audiobooks are just changing my life like if you have any other audiobook recommendations just let me know because I want to listen to more books but I'm still not sure because Ender's Game was like a deal where like it was like a free thing on audible so I would like listen to it and I loved it and right now I'm actually watching a movie but it was amazing like I was so absorbed in the world even though I wasn't reading so it was re it was a really weird experience to listen to something and still be as absorbed in the world instead of just reading it or watching it so you're using like different senses to get absorbed into the world that the author created so for May three books are coming out on May 2nd that I am so excited for. Now the next book in the Trials of Apollo series is coming out and I'm so excited. Ever since I was in elementary school I've literally read every single Rick Riordan book ever. He has my heart and soul and I am so invested in his um, books that no matter what he writes I will just buy it. Next he's written about Greek mythology, uh, Egyptian mythology, Norse mythology. Next is like I don't even know but I will buy it and I will read it and I will absolutely enjoy it because his, he is so funny He's able to show the reader all about different types of mythology and history and it makes learning that kind of stuff fun because you're just so immersed in the story and so invested in the characters that you just follow them along and while you're following them along you learn so much about the history behind myths and it's really cool. So I'm so excited for it to come out on May 2nd. This book is hilarious It's and Percy Jackson's of course mentioned in it and he's my fave so go if you like Percy Jackson. May 2nd and also on May 2nd the next series to to all the boys I've loved before is coming out this was originally I think supposed to be a duology but she's coming out with her third book Laura Jean I think it's called forever and always Laura Jean and it's this series is just the cutest happy little comforting book ever like each book is so sweet like our main character Laura Jean is just adorable she has her romance going on in high school and it's all just so sweet and so like if you're need if you need a pick me up book this one like it's so cute and it's adorable and it's probably like the most relatable kind of high school romance book there is even though in this always happens in movies and tv shows where i don't know where these characters find time to do things because as soon as I get home, I after sports and clubs and stuff, I have homework. Like these people just like have a ball, they go out to dinner, they like have this game called like Assassin. Like I don't even know, like how do they have time for this stuff? But anyways, I'm so excited to continue Laura Jean's journey with her going through high school and she's about to apply to college and that's gonna ruin her relationship with her boyfriend. You know, 
all that fun uh, emotional stuff. Last but not least, on May 2nd, the third book in the Court of Thorns and Roses series is coming out. And oh my goodness, this, no, was it last year? I believe it was last year when I discovered Sarah J. Mass's writing. And I have not been able to put these down. I'm constantly rereading them, waiting for these to come out. Thank God that the third book is coming out May 2nd. I can't even wait. It's like, I don't even know how many days, like a handful of days left. And I'm so freaking excited for this to come out. Like, I've just been like trying to avoid spoilers at all costs because they're everywhere. And um, also her book about Cole or Kale, I don't know. I call him Cole, but I know his name is Kale from the Thorn of uh, the Throne of Glass series is coming out very soon. I think later this year in September. And then in May 2018, I believe is when the sixth book in the Throne of Glass series is coming out. And I'm so excited. Like, ah, like I can't, I can't, I can't. Like I can't, whew, I just, all the feels, all the feels. And then on May 23rd, we have A Lord of Shadows coming out, which is the second book in the Dark Artifices series by Cassandra Clare. And again, Cassandra Clare owns my heart and soul with these books. Like any book she writes, I will buy. So far I haven't read the Bane Chronicles and or the Shadowhunter Academy. And I really, really want to get on top of that because I absolutely love her writing. I love the world she created. Like in each book, like, look how big this book is. Like, oh my god. So, and I love how, like, I just get immersed in her writing. So, like, I'm just, like, as soon as I'm done with the next book, I just read the next one and the next one. Like, they're very compelling and fast reads with the characters all intertwined to create, like, these amazing plots that are just mind-blowing. So, yeah, that was my April Reads and May TBR. If you have any other kind of book videos you want me to do just let me know I'll probably do one to two book videos a month um and yeah like and subscribe give me a big thumbs up uh and comment any books that you're looking forward to or any ones that you want me to read so just let me know in the comments below thank you bye